those hoes of Potomac. Ugh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. But we're here, so we're going to fucking do it. So, uh, Katie is uh, meeting with Washington Magazine, pretty much doing a revisit. You 10 years later since when we first shot you. She probably should have stuck with doing fucking, um, you know, magazines. I mean, like I said, she's, she's very photogenic. She looks nice, all right? Uh, Giselle meets with Karen to squash me because apparently Karen felt so bad about what it is that she said. Now, the thing is, on camera, she did not truly admit to being wrong and hit her with the, if uh, what I did in terms of the whole etiquette thing, uh, the picture frame, if anything that I did offended you, I'm sorry. Rather than saying, you know what, that was fucked up. I could have came at you a different way. I apologize for my actions, but it is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. But Karen wants Giselle to meet with your reason. Giselle's just like, uh, no, that ain't finna happen. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's one of those where the ball is in her court. It's one of those where just like the ball was in your court, the ball's in her court. Ain't finna do it. What else? We got Ashley and Katie sitting down with their respective men's. And, <clears throat> you know, the whole Giselle come up and Ashley just like, well, she called me a thought. I don't know how the fuck to feel about that. And, you know, they start talking about the girls and sh they had not met Karen and I believe Cherise. And this is when Andrew decides that he wants to speak on, you know, Karen, which, I mean, I was here for what he said. I just wasn't here for him talking about them in that setting because I forget what Ashley's, uh, you know, husband, I, I forget what his name is, but um, he ain't do nothing but sit back, sniff and sip, ain't said shit, ain't said not a damn thing. Now, they talked about her, you know, you know, I, you know, I ain't even gonna say it. We, Let's just say Ashley knew what the fuck she was doing and she got her prize. We're going to leave it at that. But the fact that Andrew felt so inclined to sit here and talk the shit that he talked again, I was here for just the company and how he did it was wrong. So you know what? As long as we see Andrew, his name go be Andrea. That's what the fuck I'm calling his ass. Sorry. Eating, eating the last of my cashews. They're delicious. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, this is brought to you by cashews. No, not really. So, um... We have um, Robin and Juan, and I, we start to see the dynamics of why they are um, living the way they are, because um, it's actually a couple things kind of tied into this. The first thing is being that, um, you know, he's had issues with his parents, you know, um, from being in and out of jail, um, having diseases and whatnot, dying early. So in meeting her, he pretty much told her that, you know, he pretty much wanted children to in essence, pretty much be, you know, the parent that he never had. Um, she also mentions that they have been um, trying to rebound financially, which a lot has been said about um, her being bankrupt. So I don't know if that's true, if it's going to come out, no clue. Um, Juan has a job opportunity that may require him to relocate, which means that if he does, then chances are she's going to relocate too so really trying to figure out this dynamic but i'm also trying to figure out so is the whole financial thing is that part of the reason why you know you two are living together and karen's daughter's going to prom and she talks about interracial dating i'm not gonna touch it i ain't gonna touch it i know other people gonna do it so i'm sorry if y'all want me to touch on it but i ain't gonna touch it that's a 50 foot pole I ain't touching it okay so um you have karen and sharice they are in like a uh well they're in a the store i guess it's um suited for i guess teenage girls i guess younger i don't fucking know i don't i don't fucking do that shit but they're talking about the whole giselle thing it is what it is moving forward um ashley and katie join them um and ashley is being very naive to karen because she feels like oh my gosh you know she has this good vibe this good energy yeah yeah blah blah and it's one of those where she needs new alliances and she's trying to keep you know everything established in this group and then even decides talking to her about a fucking pecking order i got it respect will get you in this down third but literally making it known like i'm up here you're all the way down here not here for it and it's one of those where when you really got to sit here and sell yourself short just to be a part of something it's really not worth it but eh whatever but they pretty much did like a little bathing suit fast show, Katie and Ashley. And it was something nice to see. There was no shade. At, well, I mean, it was a little bit of shade, but there was no malice. It was just them having fun. Something that, you know, hopefully we see more of and not the whole 
etiquette, etiquette, etiquette. Tired of hearing about fucking etiquette. Okay, so Giselle, <laughs> I swear the shade, y'all. I, I, I can't. So she's getting ready. Well, she's trying to find something to wear for the little wine, not wine tasting, whiskey tasting, and doing it with her kids. And, you know, she was like, well, I have my kids help me because, you know, they're closer to um, Ashley's age. I'm just like, all right. And then her child wearing her heel. I guess she said, I'm Beyonce. I think she said the ruler of everyone doing the pageantry hand. Well, not pageantry, but the queen's. Is the queen hand a pageantry? I don't fucking know. Y'all know I don't know. But doing that shit, I'm just like, well, there was some shade there. Hopefully the beehive don't come for her daughter, but it is what it is. Um, Katie wants to know in reference to her, you know, to, uh, you know, Andrea, um, what she should introduce him as pushing the issue, whatever. Uh, so they get to the um, whiskey tasting. I'm trying to see. I don't think. No, no, actually, I don't. Yes, uh, Katie was not there. Katie was not there because they're going to another event to kind of talk about her foundation. So she's not there. And, you know, Karen whole thing is just like she's not feeling the atmosphere, nor was Giselle feeling the atmosphere. So now we're starting to see that little bit of snootiness come out of Giselle. And, you know, Giselle is being very negative as she's taking these shots down. It's one of those where it's like, OK. Because my whole thing is this. If it ain't your scene, you could have easily fucking left. Fuck the contractual obligations. If that wasn't your scene, you could have left. But you don't have to fucking be negative about it. So then she goes on to kind of shade the fuck out of um, Cherise. Because she tells Karen, like, you know what? I was happy for, you know, the adult grown woman conversation that we had. It was very nice. You know, did not have one with Cherise. And then Karen's like, well, Cherise is right here. She's like, oh, I know. <laughs> and I'm just like. I, and I can't get mad because, again, that is some shit that I would do. I'm telling y'all, I can't be, like, I can be cordial and I can be in the setting with motherfuckers that I don't fuck with. If it's business, I can sit here and I can fake the phone with the best of people. You wouldn't you would, you would even know that I didn't like somebody because it's business. I'm never going to compromise business. But if it's outside of business, <laughs> miss me with the bullshit. Your ass is Miss Miller to me. I don't know your ass. I'll be sitting here asking I why the fuck I ain't here. Better yet, I just ain't even gonna talk to you. Your ass gonna be ghost to my ass. Point blank in the motherfucking period. <laughs> I got so damn preoccupied. I'm on here playing with the computer and the shit that went on commercial. Y'all know I record doing commercials. The fuck is wrong with me? I'm fucking tired, y'all. Three videos a night. At the very end of the night, too. This shit's crazy. And I gotta be up early in the morning. Whatever. So, uh, you have Katie at the little social event, um, you know, and she, you know, is asked, okay, well, who is he to you? And you know she was, and they asked, "Are y'all engaged?" She she asked him, "Are we?" And he was like, "No, we're not there yet." And her whole thing is, "Well, we can't keep shacking up and being in these social circles where you don't need to bring him around." She could easily say, "Oh, well, this is my date," or whatever the case may be. You putting yourself out there to look like a fucking fool, not him, because he ain't pressed about it. Boom, he is not pressed. And then you know the couple that they were talking to with Mary and the ring and shit. She was like, "Oh, you see what I like," and it's like you are coming on super fucking strong. The rejection is going to be beautiful when I fucking see it. Uh, so then we get back to the other girls and, you know, because you have Sharice and uh, Giselle talking about the whole situation. Giselle's like, I did apologize. Robin just wanted them to dead the situation. So then uh, Ash is just like, well, you know, well, I want to talk to you about the issue that we have because you called me a thought. She was like, well, you have you exhibited hoish behavior. You were humping her. She was like, a thought is someone that has sex with a lot of people. I didn't have sex with her. And it was one of those where, you know, she even says, you know what, if my actions offended you and made you feel some kind of way, I'm sorry. And that was that. And Giselle's like, you know what, I'm sorry for what I did. And Sharice kind of looked like, well, fuck, this 26 year old's being more mature than me, I'm talking about Ashley. So she decides to get up and, you know, make nice with Giselle. All right. <laughs> so it's what, so I guess one of those, well, I can't be done by the young blood. So yeah, that's what the fuck we got right there. All right, well, it seems like next week is going to shape up and we're actually going to get some good shit next week, but I'm not going to talk about that just yet. To finish this off, so pretty much, I guess we call this a nightcap for our, uh, Katie and Andrea. And, you know, Katie is pushing the whole pregnancy followed by proposal. And I'm sitting here just like, you got this shit as, let me not do this. 
everybody works differently. I'm more on the traditional end of things where it's just like, you know, first and foremost, I wouldn't have been, I won't be shacking. I don't really like the whole shacking thing. We can do, we can spend nights and shit, but the whole living together shit, dead that. You feel what I'm saying? The fact that she met, I'm sorry, the fact that Andrea met the kid so early, dead that. And you want him to knock you up first and then marry you? And his whole thing is, he was like, well, I like the engagement, you know, four, five, six, seven years right there. That was a sign to you. But she was like, well, you need to stop playing. And he told her, had you not pushed this issue, had you not been pushing this shit for the last six months, we would already be married. So it's one of those ways. It's just like, it's all good for her knowing what she wants, but she only wants this because a lot of shit is ticking. A lot of shit is ticking. And it's one of those, ways, if you want to be married so badly, you could have proposed to him if it's that fucking serious for you to be married to him. But it's one of those where it's like you pushing it so and it's one of those where is you push a man so much and you keep nagging at him it's going to push him further away so she has nobody to blame but herself but the whole robin and the um bankruptcy thing is gonna i guess air out next week and um i'm not gonna say she gonna come for uh ashley but she gonna get that ass together Cannot wait to see it. That's all that I have. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this. I told y'all certain aspects I'm not going to go the fuck in on. I'm leaving for the rest of the YouTube, but this is just a quickie. Y'all getting it quick. So please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Last video tonight is going to be Work Out New York. I think this might be the video that y'all going to get the most out of me on this Work Out New York because I've been waiting for this shit to boil over. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.